So yes, footwork. Footwork in weapons in, in weapons arts, right, is the absolute number one thing. Probably most of sword play is accomplished through footwork. Okay, um, and this comes into three basic areas. Okay, you have positioning. That's the one that most people know. Okay, how far are you away from him? What angle are you? All of that, maintaining that distance, trying to get into range, all of that kind of thing. So that's, that's the first one. Next one is timing. Okay? The way you use your footwork can affect the timing. You, know, you can throw people off, faints, all of this kind of thing. So that's, that's the other thing. And the last thing will be power. Okay? Your footwork can bring more power to what you do. So having correct footwork and having and, and, and knowing exactly you know, what that is supposed to do and the mechanics of it, as a general rule, will help you in any anything that you do from that point on, okay? Because even if you're holding a weapon, even if we're doing this, everything sits on top of this, right? <clears throat> it is very rare that we will fight from knees, right? Um, can. Right? It would, I don't know why, but you know, if you, you know, usually if you're on your knees, you are probably caught unawares. And hopefully, nobody will be caught unawares in this class um, because we're all just standing here. Basic uh, um, movement distancing type of concept we have, but like I said, it's not complete, and this is what. If we are here and we do and, and we move through here just just like this, right here, and I boom, and he comes here. Go ahead. Okay, and again, right. you attack me too. We both hit each other, right? So something has to be done about that, correct? <laughs> because that that doesn't work. Okay. Now the reason. That's happening is why. Let's turn this way. You turn the camera. Okay. Why is this happening here? You're both closing the gap. Okay. Closing the gap, but it's so simple. It's probably eluding you. We are standing right in front of each other. Okay. We're walking right into each other's attacks. So. Wow, we are practicing this going backward and forward thing. In real life, when we were to when we are to come in, if he's going to come in straight, I have to move over to the side in some way, right? So either I have to move his blade over, in which case he, he comes over there. Now he comes this way, right? Look, see? He's got to move all the way over. Defend. Boom. Boom. Okay. You can you can do that, right? Here. Okay. Notice. I got him, but why did I get him? Right? Because I stepped off. Right? His target was right here. He stopped. Mine was over there. Had I not moved far enough, it would have been either a double, and even he might have gotten me. And I not might have gotten not have, not have gotten him, depending on where we we, we are um, on the uh, on each other's blade, right? So if I'm here, when I'm moving, you notice we are moving around, right? That's free, it gets really, really complicated. But in reality, all we're doing, you see, there's that switch, there's that switch, there's that switch, right? Boom. There's a hot slide, right? I, I don't have to, I can be closed and do a hot slide that way, 
All right, that's fine. What does that do? Throws his hands up over it. Okay. So we will add one little thing here before we move on, and this is going to come into the next part, which is timing. Okay. Your footwork can be a way to set time, just like dancing. Okay. So, if we go slow and just free, you see, okay, there's a rhythm there. We're, we're playing off each other. Okay? We may be trying to put our blades in certain places, right? but we're not actually trying to hit. And what I'm doing is I'm setting that rhythm with my feet so that he can follow it. Right? I don't telegraph, but what I do is just move with each strike. Okay? So the first thing we're going to have to do is learn how to move with your strike, okay? And there's essentially uh, three ways that you can do it. You can do it before, you can do it during, or you can do it after, right? So if I do it before, I lead, and then I step in, okay? If I do it at the same time, I'm stepping and coming in, and if I do it after, I'm waiting for a response, and then I'm responding to that. Okay, and that's just just kind of the basics. All of these require you to change position, change foot, and then deliver a strike, which means something. Right? Again, we don't want to end up like that. Okay, bound up in here and bound up in here. That's why this is our ready position. Okay, we have space in here. We're out here like this. Imagine these are real, right? Here, hold up yours in a ready position here, okay? Go ahead, turn it on. All right. Okay, right? Now, if this was real, do you think he would be holding it like he is? No, why? Look where my chip is. <laughs> right? Okay, you have to, you see? So you have to push out here like this, you see? You've got to keep me from getting close. Don't push me over here like this, because what will happen? Go ahead, push it. Yeah. <laughs> okay? I'm right in here. Okay? I push it out so that I keep him away. So that when he comes in, I have time to react. It's not he's, he's not going to hit me. Now, if he comes in and I parry like that, he's in trouble. Right? Right there. Okay? Again, timing. If what he should do is remove this from his path, then so. And now he's got a clear shot. You see? So that's how timing can really, you know, make or break what you do.